uh, curb training is so that the dog does not run out into the street. And we do some around here because this is a street, but uh, we're starting him out on the easy one that has a big curb so that he can recognize, oh, that's danger. I'm supposed to sit down away from the curb and uh, not go until I'm told. Then we start making it more difficult where there's not a curb, where there's maybe the wheelchair ramp, so it's not as obvious. But still, you can't run out into the street. And then we'll come into the more, um, the areas where there's streets, but really not much of a curb at all. So uh, this is really important so your dog doesn't run out in the street. Simple as that. Just do it a little bit every day uh, for a couple weeks. Now this is where you need to make a correction on the dog because uh, it's it take for you know two million years to do this with only positive uh, you know food rewards and things so if he walks into the street boom he gets a correction and it's not outrageous but it's enough to get his attention to say hey I am not supposed to walk out in this street and and when it comes to things that are life and death situations you know uh, corrections you know, sometimes you just have to correct the dog and let him know and know on certain terms that it is not a good idea to go out in that street. It could, you know, you're in charge of their life and you, you have to uh, protect them from what they, they don't know the uh, perils that are out there. So uh, a little bit of correction uh, is good when it's, uh, when it's important for life and death situations. Okay, so uh, we'll check back in, in with you when we find a good curb to work on. Okay, we're here at a local school. We got a sidewalk we're going to work on uh, his uh, curb training with so he doesn't run out into the street. Uh, but also I want you to see uh, we always get the dog out on the passenger side so if the dog would bolt it doesn't go into traffic so that's one thing. And also he's supposed to go down and be calm before not just go crazy and jump out. So uh, here we go. Down. Yeah, I didn't, uh, he's excited because a lot going on, but he was going to do it anyway. So he has to stay there until it's time to uh, get out. Up, oh, stay. Come. Good boy, good boy. All right. So we're going to walk down the street. He's been working on this a little bit and head towards a curb. Good boy, that's a good boy. He recognized the curb, sat down back from the curb. So if somebody runs up on the curb, uh, he's not very close to it. So good job, good boy. All right, so let's go over here into a little bit tougher situation where there's a wheelchair ramp. So it's not so obvious a big curb. We'll walk him past it. So he forgets about it and we'll turn around and see what he does. Good boy, your training's taking effect. You always gotta praise him what? That's a good boy, very smart. So I've been working on this with him, so very good. But uh, the next phase would be to uh, what they call proof him. In other words, we're gonna have toys and throw them out into the street.